Hey guys, this is David Dirk showing you the Hyper Studio Controller in action. Uh, right now we're in the audio or the basketball control room and uh, we have the HyperDeck Studio over here on this rack. Um, it's the top one that's being used currently for the uh, video playback and the bottom one is just for recording games. We have it connected to the network over Ethernet uh, to this computer. Um, and so, as you can see, uh, everything's mapped right now. Time codes automatically mapped. I can show it working real quick. So it's disconnected. All the buttons are grayed out so it can't do anything. And then it's connected and so it auto loads all the um, all the different clips uh, with the time codes. So what I can do over here, uh, right now I just have the basic one, uh, the color bars selected. And so I can change it to our different memes we have. Uh, right now I'm just going through selecting different ones and there's also different additional functionality like looping so um, right now if I want to loop this air ball when it's 20 seconds uh, here's it going um, and then we'll see it repeat there we go and then also we can there's a time code checkbox and we can uh, select both of those and say change the second to uh, let's see what we got 15 and I'll just shorten it so now it's looping on the 15 seconds or the 10 to 15 seconds so it's shorter so it just repeated there again but with a new time code and then also um, I can I just have the time code if I want and have it stop at the end so they just froze at the end of the clip um, and then lastly, um, I mean, it would be the basic one where it just also stops at the very end of the clip instead of the end of the time code. So, so yeah, that's how it works. Um, it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, we've already run out of clip space, so I'm going to add in some more buttons. But it's coming along pretty well. Thanks for watching.